Welcome to Highline BI348 class video number 16. If you want to download this file, BI348 Chapter 2 Start or the finished file, click on the link below the video. Hey, this video and the next three videos, we're going to be talking about frequency distributions and histograms for continuous quantitative data. Now, this is our data set we used last video for categorical data we made frequency distribution and column chart for website. But here we have a date time for each transaction. And our first histogram in this video, we want to count how many transactions happened per hour. Next couple videos, we'll actually, from this data set, calculate an extra revenue column and then do histograms for revenue. Now I want to go over to the sheet goal for quantitative frequency distribution. And here's our end result. We need to get hours for our criteria. And actually, we'll do this with a pivot table. Pivot table will make this easy for grouping. Because in essence, for this first category, we are counting with a lower and upper limit. 12 a.m. all the way up to 1 a.m., but not including 1 a.m. There were 219 transactions. So we want to create this frequency distribution for counting by hour and then visualize it with this histogram. Now, one of the main points of a histogram is to see the shape of the data. We can see there's definitely some peaks and some valleys. Now I want to go back over to the sheet, Sales Data. Now we click in a single cell. And we're going to do this with a pivot table. So Alt and V. It's asking us where our data is. Of course, it got it right. I'm definitely going to put it on a new sheet. There's the OK button. So I simply hit Enter. That was Alt and V, Enter. Now I double click this and call this Time Histogram and Enter. Now I'm going to pull the field list over so it's a little bit closer. I'm going to drag the date and time down to rows. And then come over here. And it's going to be smart enough when I right click Group, it's going to give me a few options. Now, earlier in an earlier video, we did months. But I'm going to uncheck that and simply say Hours. And it will know from that date and time data to roll it up into hours. So there we are. Now I'm simply going to drag any one of these fields, because it's really just counting transactions for a particular time period. I'm going to drag product, for example. And just to show you, it really doesn't matter which one you drag. You're always going to get the same count. Now, just the base of that grouping by time and frequency count, nothing can beat a pivot table for speed. Now, before we make our histogram, let's change the labels. And remember, most of the time we go to Design Report Layout. But I actually don't want the field name here, because it'll say Date Time. So I'm going to type Time. And I'm going to indicate that the lower limit, because this category is greater than or equal to 12 AM and less than 1 AM. So I'm just going to say lower limit. Change the column width, frequency, and Enter. Now we can make a histogram insert. Notice just one cell in the pivot table. It'll know what to do. And we want column 2D. Now this is made from a pivot table. So it has these field labels here, which are nice. We can filter, but we don't want to filter. So I'm going to right click and say Hide All Field Buttons on Chart. Come over here. This looks like Chart Junk, so Delete. Click on the Columns and Control-1. Now our task pane is way over to the side. So I'm going to click and drag it over here right next to the chart. Gap width 0. I like color, so I'm going to come over and change the fill to vary color by point. Now let's come up to this green plus, And I'm going to say, give me the data labels. That will put the frequency count at the top. And we want to change this, because it looks like it's not going to quite fit. I want to turn it on its side. So I click on one label so that most of them are selected. And Control-1 to jump to the right task pane. I can see that. I need to click there to close that. 
And I'm looking down here. I don't really see anything for alignment. Now, one of the problems when you're learning 2013 charting is that you really do have to click through these to find things. But it's under Properties. And then there's Alignment, Text Direction. I'm simply going to click. And you can try either one. I think uh, Rotate 270 will work. Look at that. I don't think we're going to need this task pane again. However, it's easy to open with Control-1. We now have one, two, and one of them has to go because it's repetition, which is chart junk. I'm going to get rid of this one. And really, this is your choice. Sometimes if you want it less cluttered, this is beautiful. Other times when you want to see the exact frequencies above, that's kind of nice. So I'm going to delete that. Maybe make it a little bit wider. And then we need a good chart title. So I'm going to click. And it appears up in the formula bar, 2015 transactional frequency by hour, and Enter. Now, it looks like things are a little bit crowded, so I'm going to, well, let's first get rid of the horizontal lines. We don't need those. Delete. And then I want to click and try and select the inside chart area. And then if I can very carefully point to that dot, I can click and drag just a little bit. And there we go. That is a beautiful histogram. We can clearly see the shape from midnight to midnight. Looks like it goes up and down. Right at lunchtime, it seems to be the highest peak. And then again, around 6 PM. And look at this right here. It looks like we have a lot of activity between 2 and 4 or 5 AM in the morning. Now, one interesting thing about this is we might want to then go back to our data set and see if there's any geographical data about where sales are coming from. In our data set, we don't have any. But we might go, if this was our business, and try and track that down and see what's causing that right there. All right, so in this video, we saw how to use a pivot table and the column chart to create a histogram for continuous quantitative data where we actually use time and then create our histogram with a column chart. All right, next video, we will go back to our sales data and create a revenue column and create a frequency distribution, cumulative frequency distribution, and a histogram. All right, we'll see you next video.